Hey comic book fans, welcome back to another edition of Huge Comic Book News with your host David Lee. So I was going through the interwebs today and I saw that Andy Diggle and Joshua Hill Falcoff have left their books before they even started. Andy Diggle, he was going to be going and taking over Action Comics from Grant Morris and uh, Joshua Hill Falcoff who was going to take over the Green Lantern Corps in Red Lantern Books. Both of them leave because of editorial. Now. There's been one major thing that's been happening with DC Comics and the editorial since the New 52 started. They don't like each other. Every single editorial that has an idea for the way that the book should go, and so does the writers. And you can see the editorial is just going and choking the life out of these writers. Josh A. Hill Falcoff, he is definitely one of the best writers in DC Comics. After what he did with I Vampire and turning vampires into awesome again, was just a fantastic thing to see. And then he was given the opportunity after I Vampire was done to go and do Red Lantern and Green Lantern Corps. Two books that are major players in comic book industry. I mean, what gets bigger than a Green Lantern book, really? And so, Joshua Hill Falcoff, he had this idea. He wanted to have the Green Lantern Corps book and Red Lantern book be this crime drama that's on a galactic scale. And he, he was pitching this idea. DC loved it. Well, after today, he stated in his blog that there were editorial decisions about the direction of the book that conflicts with the story I was hired to tell. And I felt that it was better for DC to tell their story the way that they want. I'm grateful for the opportunity and I'll miss working with the entire Green Lantern team. Now the thing I noticed in there is that he, DC was not letting Joshua L. Falcoff tell the story he wants. The editorials guys are the ones who are directing these books. And do we really want this people? Do we really want the editorial staff for DC Comics to be choking the life out of some great opportunities that these writers are supposed to do? Because the last thing I looked is that the editorial staff is not supposed to be the ones who are writing the books. They're supposed to be the ones giving the book direction, but letting the writer flourish and tell some grand stories. I am not seeing this from DC Comics as of late. DC Comics, I think, is on a narrow path, and they're not looking to see if there's any great opportunities to take these characters. I am sad to see Joshua L. Falcoff off this book. And Andy Diggle, I do not really know any of his work, but I do know that DC Comics was promoting the hell out of Action Comics when he's taken over from Grant Morris. And it'll be interesting to see in the upcoming days to see if we can get some information from Andy Diggle about why he left the book. So I'll stick tuned, and I'll give you some more updates on this interesting little th fiasco that's going on with DC editorial staff and the writers and some p major players leaving DC Comics. So stay tuned to the Comic Fix for some more comic book news. I'll see you guys next time.